My name is Partha Hoda, and I am the section head of thoracic and cardiac imaging at AMI. And today I'll be talking about coronary CTA examinations. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. About 18 million US adults have coronary artery disease with the risk factors including high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and diabetes. Coronary CTA is a minimally invasive diagnostic procedure used to detect coronary artery disease burden. Your cardiologist may order this study for reasons such as angina or chest pain, an abnormal stress test, or a shortness of breath. This remarkable technology is advanced and only available in a handful of facilities in the country. At AMI, we have a high level of expertise in performing and interpreting these studies. When you come to AMI for your coronary CTA examination, prior to the study, one of our nurses will assess your heart rate and blood pressure. You may receive a beta blocker medication to lower your heart rate. This allows us to reduce motion artifact that might degrade the quality of the examination. You will then be placed on a CT scanning table while lying on your back and hooked up to an EKG machine. Just prior to the scan, we will give you nitroglycerin medication to dilate or expand the coronary arteries for optimal visualization. Then you will receive IV contrast to highlight the vessels. Following administration of IV contrast, the CT machine, while using the EKG for guidance, will image your heart. The resulting pictures from the scan look like this. These detailed images allow the radiologist to interpret your heart and coronary arteries and to craft a report to relate to your cardiologist. I will now go over how I interpret these studies, starting with the anatomy of the heart and vessels. These are axial images through the chest. To orient yourself, imagine that we are traveling through the patient from their head to feet with the top part of the image being the patient's front and the bottom part of the image being the patient's back. We gave the IV contrast so we can see that there is bright highlighting of the blood pool. And from that, we can see the structure of the heart. These are the four chambers, the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. And we can also see the coronary arteries. There's four main ones that we interpret. On the right side, we can see that this is the right coronary artery or the RCA and it kind of bends over to the right. And on the left side, we can see that there is a left main coronary artery, and that breaks off into two more coronary arteries. There's the LAD, and there's the circumflex. So the circumflex kind of takes this course towards the back, and the LAD kind of takes a course towards the front. The coronary arteries have a curved shape. So by utilizing sophisticated 3D post-processing computer software, we can stretch the vessels and evaluate for disease, or what we call plaque. Normally, the vessel should be nice and clean and free from plaque. Initially, plaque is soft and dark, but over time, it can calcify and become hard and bright. Our job as radiologists is to report the presence of plaque, grade it, and determine whether it is causing a narrowing or blockage of the vessel. So we can see here, we've taken the circumflex and we've stretched it out so we can see that we have a stretched out image here and we kind of have a more curved image here. And in our curved image, we can see that there is a small area of soft plaque here that is showing up as dark and this is resulting in minimal narrowing. If we switch vessels and we go to the LED, we can see that there's an area of bright plaque here. And when we evaluate it, kind of looking down the barrel right here, we can see that it's also resulting in minimal narrowing. Your cardiologist will use this information to guide your management. With milder disease, this would include potentially placing you on a medication such as a lipid lowering agent. With more severe disease, coronary CTA findings may guide your cardiologist into considering doing a cardiac catheterization for potential stent placement or even considering bypass surgery. After thoroughly evaluating the heart and the coronary arteries, we lastly look at the rest of the structures of the chest. By changing the window, we can see the lungs very clearly in black, and we can look for things like pneumonia or early lung cancers. We can also assess the area around the heart or what we call the mediastinum and look for things like enlarged lymph nodes. We can look into the belly and look for things around the liver, the spleen, and the stomach. And lastly, we can look at the bones and assess for things like fractures. At AMI, we strive to be on the cutting edge of technology. Therefore, lastly, I want to briefly talk about FFRCT technology, 
which is available to certain patients under some insurance plans. FFRCT is a revolutionary and exciting new technology. By taking the images from your coronary CTA study and using artificial intelligence and 3D computational modeling, it allows us to really peek into how blood is flowing through your coronary arteries and improve the diagnosis of coronary artery disease. In this separate patient, corresponding to an area of narrowing in the LAD seen on CT examination, there is decreased blood flow signified in red, and this indicates that the patient should be stented. I hope you enjoyed this review of coronary CTA examinations. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, thank you for your time and stay safe.